This video is sponsored by PCBWay. More about them at the end of the video. After traveling all over the country with my one pound combat robot cheesecake, it was super cool to find a combat robotics tournament just a few blocks away from my house. The Revolution Makerspace in Waltham, Massachusetts hosted a tournament called Robot Rumpus back in May 2024, so Cheesecake and I absolutely had to attend, even though I hadn't yet made any of the improvements I wanted to since my last tournament. The only thing new about Cheesecake is that I'm now soldering all my electronics together instead of using Wago lever nuts, which saves about 10 grams of weight. With a maximum weight limit of 453 grams, 10 grams for free is pretty good. This tournament was held outdoors at a steampunk festival, which meant that we had a lot of spectators and a lot of people to impress, so let's get right into it. My first opponent was Spinneroonie, an invertible ring spinner with two chunky weapon teeth. I wasn't sure if going weapon to weapon was the best thing to do, but it's the only thing I could do, so let's do it. Three, two, one, fight! And both robots getting up to speed! Whoa! Some damage being done right out of the gate! Been really living up to its name. The cheesecake taking some bites out of the competition. It looks like Spinnerini's spinner is no longer functional. But Cheesecake does seem to be having some difficulty getting a solid hit in. At least to the opponent, our arena's taking a nice speed though. More good hits. Ooh! Going to be all over the place. One minute left. Bouncing around the arena still. Both bots getting a really good show. Chunks flying off. And then we got stuck together. But the time was about to run out anyway, so... That's the match. Nice. Well, I won, and I ripped some big chunks out of Spinneroonie. But it's time to admit it, Cheesecake has a control problem. The slight vibration of my weapon is making Cheesecake's nose jiggle around, which makes it very challenging to keep him pointed in the right direction. I suspect this is because of my soft 3D printed TPU weapon collet flexing and amplifying any slight imbalance in my weapon. I'm hoping this can be fixed by machining this part out of a single piece of plastic like I plan to do, but there's no time for that now because Cheesecake is moving on to his second fight. My second fight was against the big cheesy monster, Cheddar Goblin. This robot is a gyro walker. It uses the gyroscopic force of its two angled spinners to tilt its entire body and walk around the arena. I was not expecting such a menacing robot at this tournament, but I still had my titanium nose attachments, so with any luck, I'd be able to tank a couple of hits and get in some of my own. Let the cheese battle begin! Three, two, one, fight! 
Ooh, solid hit from the outside. Sparks flying. Never goblin has quite the menacing glare. At this point, we both agreed to use our unsticks. Three, two, one, resume. Oh, oh no! Cheddar Goblin loses a, a spinner. Do they have any control left? One more, one more. Ooh. And Cheddar Goblin taps out. Cheesecake is the winner. Okay, not too shabby. Cheddar Goblin got some good hits in, and he even ripped out one of my standoffs, but then one of his weapons fell out, so the Goblin was slain by the cake. My next fight was against Humu Humu, a tanky little lifter with a big metal face. We know the drill, though. Slap on the sweet tooth, get it under him, and then start taking bites. Three, two, one, fight. Huma <laughs> Huma doing a good job so far avoiding that spinner. Come on, cheesecake, drive straight. Spark flying. to find that position. Interesting. The sweet tooth isn't working. I'm being out-forked. That metal plate on Humuhuru's lifter is doing a good job protecting it. Underneath cheesecake, lip in. Wait, why am I dead? No. Cheesecake. <laughs> Huma Humu is the victor by knockout. Well, that's not supposed to happen. Why did Cheesecake just die? My battery's fine, my weapon works, but. My receiver. Darn it. After years of loyal service, my radio receiver just couldn't take the abuse anymore and it died. And the cheesecakes paid their respects as they laid their receiver to rest. It had to happen eventually, so this meant that Cheesecake dropped into the loser's bracket where he was up against... Nor'easter! Another big ring spinner, bringing the rain and the pain. Can Cheesecake weather the storm? Let's find out. Three, two, one, fight! Cheesecake goes in immediately, knocks off one of Nor'easter's strikers. And there. 
there goes the other one. Cake spinner packs quite the punch. Easter is still spinning. Easter's uh, ring is coming off. Tap out, tap out. Uh, winning by tap out is Cheesecake. All right, Cheesecake is back from the dead and hitting hard again. I was fortunate to have ripped out Nor'easter's two teeth early in the fight, and I'm very happy that Cheesecake was able to keep delivering solid hits for another minute and a half. Nor'easter survived pretty well, and I wasn't able to get to his wheels. Come to think of it, I haven't ripped off a single wheel this entire tournament. Let's see if I can fix that. My next fight was against Renfield, another tanky lifter with a thick TPU body and extremely well-guarded wheels. But Cheesecake is no stranger to chewing through TPU, so let's see who wins in the battle of offense versus defense. Three, two, one, fight! trying to flip back over. I am having some serious control issues here. We're trying to keep time with the music, I'm not sure. Oh no! for that hit. Not that one.
Oh no, please don't let me be dead again. There was an issue with the timer, so we actually have 16 extra seconds. Cheesecake, are you stuck? Saved by the bell. <laughs> that was an awesome fight. By judge's decision, the winner was Renfield, which is very fair. I didn't do any real damage to him, and he absolutely bullied me around the box. But the fight was actually closer than I thought. Cheesecake's weapon did punch through Renfield's front, and I almost hit his battery, which would have won me the fight. But I missed it by that much. Missed it by that much. Sadly, without any disabling hits, Cheesecake couldn't stop the onslaught of Renfield's excellent control, and there wasn't much else to it. With this final loss, Cheesecake was knocked out of his hometown tournament, taking third place overall. Not the finish I was expecting, but you know who also didn't win over his hometown? Jesus. And we still put on a great show for everyone watching. Which, in a sport of breaking each other's toys, is really the best part. Thanks to all my awesome fans, welcome to the sport if you're new here, and I'll see you all next time. This video is sponsored by PCB Way. There are some tools you just can't fit into an apartment or even a house, and that's where PCB Way can help you out. They don't just make printed circuit boards, they have a surprising range of other fabrication services, including sheet metal, 3D printing, injection molding, and CNC machining. To get a price for your part, you simply upload your 3D or 2D file to their website, and most parts can be automatically quoted right there. For more complex parts, their team will review it and quote it manually which is still surprisingly quick. The next time you need something made, check out PCB Way.